What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So I'm really excited. You saw the thumbnail. I got some TBM brakes. After messing with Randy's car and seeing how, how light they were, seeing how good they rolled, they have no friction at all. I was like, dude, I gotta get some for my car. And so we're really trying to drop some weight off the front of my car. Doing the no prep. It's all about percentages front and back so i've got wheel woods on mine now it's got like four pistons it's a street style brake it's a good brake but it's not as light as i would like it to be so we got hooked up with tbm we got these brakes i'm going to assemble them tonight in the next couple of days i'll get over to the shop and i'll put them in and we're going to do a side by side comparison on what the wheel woods weigh versus what the tbms weigh I think it's going to be pretty significant. And the biggest thing is no drag. That no drag, man. I mean, these calipers, when they they fully retract, there's, I mean, it just spins and there's nothing there. Now, I did not get the ceramic bearings or the micro blue bearings. Uh, that stuff's a little more expensive. But I got the regular bearings, so we'll still show you how good this thing rolls. Let's stick these things together real fast. I'm going to show you what comes in the kit. I'll do a few things to get them ready to install. Once I put them all together tonight then we should be able to install them pretty fast on the car. Don't forget to go to turbojohnracing.com, grab yourself some merchandise. We got a new t-shirt coming out in the next few days. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks guys. I've seen these things, go to their website, TBM, The Brake Man, uh, Motion Race Works owns it now. I think Cletus is part of it now as well. It's some awesome stuff, dude. These calipers are just super, super, super lightweight. Uh, looks like they're going to be super easy to install. The pins, the change the pads. The pads, of course, are small. Everything is small. It's just got two pistons. But these pins come out and the, slide, the pads slide right down in there and then they just clamp on. It's got the nice one retaining bolt there. So that's going to be pretty easy to put on. Or super, super, super lightweight. Uh, they, I mean, this is just, the quality is just crazy. I remember when I first saw these rotors, I was like, man, I just don't understand how these rotors are going to work but god they are so cool man they're lightweight and i guess the thought process you know i don't know i'm not an engineer but making it do this little s shape here back and forth or the flower shape i guess what it does is it ensures that it reaches all parts of the brake but at the same time it keeps the heat out of it and that's why these things have got holes in them i'm sure too these things are they've got an offset on them so you want to be careful when you put these on if you get those things on backwards you may have to do some shimming, extra shimming on your caliper. Depends on how how it all lines up. So make sure you read the instructions and look at the pictures real good so you can tell which way those go. Uh, but this stuff looks pretty straightforward to put on, man. It's not gonna be bad at all. Um, I also got, these are, the, these are the actual brackets. The brackets are super lightweight. And of course, it just uses two bolt holes. But this piece right here, this cutout machine piece here, that is for something else that is going to really help our program and it's a wheel speed sensor kit and so this over here is really simple to put on it looks like reading there again reading the instructions it's got a rife sensor on it and so basically what's what's going to happen is you take this ring and you slide it down on there and you look at the instructions real good see how that's beveled that's the wrong way and what it is see how there's a there's a gap it doesn't go all the way to the edge so you have to make sure that it is the proper way it's just like when you're putting in bearings in an engine or something you want that that radius part so that now it fits all the way down in there and so this is a pretty snug fit and you think okay well this is not going to really work what do they use how do they stick it on is it machine and it's not but what they do is they send you in your kit, they send you some Loctite 680. And so basically this is a retaining compound and this has not got a lot of force on it. This is the actual ring itself. So this just goes on here and bolts down like that. And then your sensor bolts through your bracket and then you're, you're good to go. And then you can monitor front wheel speed and you can take front wheel speed and make it comparison to the back of the car, to the back wheel speed. And so once you do that, then you can really do some good traction control. And you know, that's a, a good thing. You can build an advanced table based on front wheel speed and rear wheel speed. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. That's one of the things I, I talk about all the time, you know, that, you know, okay, at the finish line, my finish line mile per hour was 140 mile per hour. 
but my back wheel speed was 160 miles an hour or something like that. Or it might be 115 and 140 or 120 and 145 or 140. So we can do some timing retards out there so that you can let it slip a little bit, but it won't slip a ton. And then you can pull some timing out and make it so that it's happier. So we're going to assemble this stuff real fast. Uh, I think this is going to be definitely a two part video. The first part today will be assembling the, getting this stuff ready, just assembling the, the rotors, getting them on here, getting this Loctited on, getting the studs in it, and then getting it all set up so when I go to the shop, I can easily put this stuff together. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. I'm gonna stick the studs in it first. Screw in studs, half inch. Um, they got two of these available. You get five by four and a half, which is Ford, or you can get five by 4.75, which is a Chevrolet. So it just depends on what you have. It's just a different rotor here. But this is awesome, dude. I am super, super, super excited. Let's stick this stuff together real fast and then we'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, well, we got the studs in on these sides. Torque them down to 60 foot pounds and you do want to put some Loctite on these. I run them all in about that far in and then I'll take the Loctite, the blue Loctite, and I'll just put a dab on each one of them, run them in, torque them down. So here's the next step. This is we're gonna attach the rotor to the actual hub. Very simple process. You wanna use blue Loctite on the bolts. And then they also supply, I've never seen these before, but these are nice little washers, lock washers. Once we snug these down and tighten them, it recommends you tighten them to 15 foot pounds of torque. And then you fold up these locking tabs and it kind of binds on the bolt, keeps it so that it cannot back out. Super easy, super simple. All right, so both of these are installed, nothing to it. You just basically just bend those little tabs up. It locks down on the side and then the tabs keep the bolt from backing out. So that should work pretty good. So hopefully we won't have any issues with that. That's the first time I've ever seen that type of lock, locking tab. I think it's pretty cool. Most of the time you just use like just Loctite on it, but this is just a secondary prevention method to help it so that it doesn't back out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep this for the ring. Like I was saying, you see, that's the opposite way because it's not gonna go all the way down on there because of the bevel, the radius. So this is the way you want it to go. So um, it pops down in there really good, nice and flat. What it says is, I clean it real good. So I'm gonna go get some alcohol, wipe everything down, make sure there's no grease on it. Then we'll use this tube of Loctite 680. We'll coat the flange and the, the ring here. And then you have to let it set up for at least two hours and then it gets fully cured in 24 hours. All right, so here you go. This is lightly coated on this and this. All right, so that went on pretty easy. That little tube was just enough to do everything. And see, it's nice and flat because I've got the chamfered, the chamfer, the chamfered edge where it's supposed to be, however you say it. So you can see it's got a nice little coating. It's the green Loctite. So this is basically what it's going to do is it's going to lock that down in place. Uh, we got it all nice and clean, oil free. So it'll lock down. And then tomorrow, before we install the brakes, we'll stick the ring on it and so this ring will plop down on there and it comes with five tapered screws and then that way everything's nice and flush. so we are getting really close uh there's not really much left i can do tonight so we got all this done uh from this point it'll be pretty easy to do and so this thing man it looks freaking amazing this thing is super 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 light it is amazing how light it is. So I'm excited, guys. We're going to stick this thing on. I also got a master cylinder, 15 16 diameter. Uh, the one on my car, I think, is a one inch diameter. So we're going to stick that one on most likely as well. Now, the other thing you have to do, since these are small front pads, you know, we're relying on the, the back brakes to do a lot too. Now, you don't want to get too much pressure on the back brakes because, of course, uh, the, the back will lock up. But so we do have a proportionate valve, so we'll be adjusting the proportion valve, trying to take a little bit of pressure off of the fronts here and then put a little bit more on the back. So hopefully uh, everything works out good for our combination. Now the back of my car, I've still got aerospace on it for the time being. I'll probably end up getting the rear TBMs at some point also. 
just because these things are freaking amazing and they're super lightweight. And y'all remember my other ones had a lot of drag on them when I first put them together. Uh, the drag is mostly gone, but it still drags a little bit. So, all right, guys, well, here's the brakes. We're going to be putting them on race car the next couple days. So hopefully we'll, uh, vi so video number two, will show you the install process. That should be real simple and straightforward. But the biggest thing is we're going to show you how it rolls. And then we're going to also show you how much the weight difference is between the hub and the rotor and the caliper and the back and plate between the wheel woods that I have on it now. All right, guys, comment, like, and subscribe. We'll see y'all soon. Later.